सी नवे डेज इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो द टाइप सी कॉन्सेप्ट इफ यू डोंट नो द टाइप सी कॉन्सेप्ट डेफिनेटली यू कॉन्ट रेक्टिफाई द डेड चार्जिंग इश्यू ओके सो इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू आइडेंटिफाई द कॉम्पोनेंट्स फ्रॉम टाइप सी वॉट आर द एक्टिव कॉम्पोनेंट्स विल बी देयर एंड वॉट आर देयर आई सी वर्क आई मीन देयर वर्क्स द पर्टिकुलर आई सी वर्क्स फ्रॉम वेर टू वेर द सिग्नल आर वोल्टेज आर पाथ हैज गॉन दैट वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई ओके सर सी इन लास्ट क्लास आई क्लियरली टोल्ड यू इट एज टाइप सी टू टाइप सी वन इज नॉर्मल टाइप सी एंड अदर वन इज थंडर बोर्ड टाइप सी सी एनी लैपटॉप थ्रू द थंडर बोर्ड ओनली दिस लैपटॉप विल वर्क इट वोट वर्क थ्रू दिस नॉर्मल टाइप सी ओके नाउ इफ यू कनेक्ट द चार्जर सो वॉट आर द पोर्ट विल एक्टिवेट एंड वॉट आर द सिग्नल्स इट विल डिटेक्ट द फर्स्ट इज फाइव वोल्ट्स any type c you will get 5 volt signal is the first one that we call it as it's a v bus okay v bus should have 5 volts next what are the signals what are those i already explained so many times that is tx and rx v bus cc1 cc2 and d plus and d minus these all are the important signals in thunderbolt type c okay what are those once again i'll repeat v bus is the first signal you will get 5 volts from that after that cc1 or cc2 or tx and rx1 tx and rx2 any one after that d1 d plus d1 plus and d1 minus or d2 plus or d2 minus these are the important things see the first v bus v bus directly come to this ic what is this ic this is pd ic okay after this pd ic next what are the signals and where it will go next the d plus and d minus it will come to this particular ic see u5803 it's a small one here it will come okay and c what is that cc1 or cc2 where it will go it will go to see the cc1 it will come to this one this ic u5801 okay in this ic it will come as a input cc1 connection and the bidirectionally it will connect with the tbt cc1 okay tbc cc1 connection from this ic cc1 and cc2 is connected to this particular ic see what are those already v bus i told v bus directly goes to that pdic and second one is cc1 and cc2 it one it will uh, check the connection it's a channel 1 i mean upper side or no, down side which one has connected that uh, will take care of this ic okay next tx and rx tx and rx this main alpine ic will take care okay note down transmitter and receivers those so tx1 plus and uh, tx minus rx1 and rx2 the plus and minus those things transmitter and receivers will happen through this particular ic okay and the d1 and d2 plus and minus will happen through this particular ic okay now you identify the signals which is coming from this type c where it will go okay and what are the different type size of this particular pd that also i clearly explained now after this functions what we have to check see after this function cc has to work right channel 
or channel 2 cc1 or cc2 which one is activated which one is connected that we need to check for that which ic we have to check here this ic right in this ic what we are going to check cc1 or cc2 for that this ic has to be activated then only the particular motherboard will check cc1 or cc2 as connected for that the voltage the basic ic input voltage is required the particular basic voltage from where it has come that we need to check see this particular input ic i mean input voltage is coming from this particular pdic this particular pdic now you got my point right once you connect the type c 5 volts v bus 5 volts will come to this particular pd and from this ic high voltage has to be generated internally and so many ldo voltages will generate internally this ldo voltage come to this particular mosfet gate right i already explained this particular mosfet gate the voltage is coming from this particular pd if this particular pd releases the voltage then this particular mosfets will get active and then what that cc1 or cc2 this ic will get active okay now the concept you understood right so what are the ic's will generate and what are the voltage will generate hmm? see once pd ic is good once pd ic is good then this section will work because the gate is depending on this one okay and cc connection that ic will work okay and so many sections will work through this pd ic this is very very important through this 3 volts pd ic almost all section will generate and now for tx and rx see this section has to work right the tx and rx here is a crystal if crystal is works then i clearly told you ah, one more thing i wanted to tell you that 3 volts pd will come to this particular bias ic also this is bias ic for this pd section okay this one will active when the 3 volts will come from the pd ic okay next i will come to this point when this bias is active then here i2c section will get active it has two i2c C section and one bias section okay total three bias options are there two i2c and one is bias section if these all works good so then definitely your laptop will works good without any problem if in case of type c section has issue okay now you got my point right so these things you should not forget if you know this concept then only you are able to do the repair work of type c section okay type c section because you have to total five part i divided as a five part in type c theory videos right so if you don't know please go back and check those videos this one i to see alpine ic it's a transmit and receive signal depending on that i2c will work and bias also will work once this will works definitely your motherboard supply will come otherwise you won't get any supply you will get only 5 volt supply v bus is the standard voltage you will get okay this this is the concept okay now i will tell you what are the damages or what are the uh, main part i mean main fault is there in this particular motherboard first thing is when i observed here i told you clearly so much of work has done in this section see they connected type c here 
and here it has to connect here on ic will come but it has removed i think so see ua this one here they made it as a short because of that short this ic was getting completely heat completely heat okay now i removed the section when i connect this so that heat has gone now there is no heat this section completely has short so that's why i disconnected this type c now this type c won't work it will work but the voltage the v bus will come up to here it won't go far forward okay now when i connect this type c type c i am getting the voltage till where see practically i'll show you i'll connect this sorry here yeah. I connected here. See, I will show you the voltage. I told you clearly. If you connect the thunderbolt, the particular ICs. this pin number 11 and 12 i think so there the voltage will come see this is pin number 11 and 12 what the voltage 5 volts right here we are getting only 5 volts section this ic is not getting heat because of this type c had a uh, short that i removed which i removed so now there is no heat second concept is this ic has produce 3 volts leo so that i will check this particular mosfet gate will be having 3 volts but just a minute but we are getting 4 volts actually this is not this particular ic voltage okay the first thing is that one so once we get this 3 volt section i will check in this part i think so here is the 3 volt section no no number 5 no see this particular pd is not generating 3 volts because of this particular sections are not active that is the one point okay so many people what they will do they will shut the mosfet and they will check see first i i told you first the ic i mean for this mosfet the voltage will come through this fuse see it's 5 volts after this fuse also 5 volts okay here is the drain p channel mosfet drain 5 volts after this source you will get lesser than this volt it's a 4.6 so voltage will drop due to the due to the forward bias and here this second mosfet no output when until unless you get the gate voltage you won't get the result okay 3.7 or 4 volts you are getting hmm this is actually this dropped voltage not voltage from pd okay now you understood the concept here pd may be the fault or may not be because so many damages are there multiple damages this is one major things i found and one more thing i found for transmit and receive the here actually id will be there right so to produce high voltages through this particular pdic there should be transmit and receive functions but in this particular ic this alpen ic having a crystal okay but the crystal condition is completely damaged this also could be a reason okay we need to replace this crystal and i need to check i will check this one after replacing it will be working or not that i don't know but first i will replace the pd after pd 100% it won't work because of this crystal until unless we change this crystal this bias section won't work okay you may get cc1 cc2 or whatever it may be 
but tx and rx it won't get you won't get because of this crystal see some capacitor has removed i think so see directly forcefully they removed not softly see hmm? so marks are there here but anyway so let me check after replacing the pd what are the condition of this crystal if there is no result then i will replace this crystal and let me check if this ic is good definitely this motherboard will work if this ic is not good definitely this will be in dead condition or we need to bypass this section see first you have to understand the type c concept then you can go for bypassing the type c in this worst condition we will go for bypassing the type c so this is the uh, what is that theoretical explanation of this particular motherboard okay even practically also i showed you what are the voltage we are getting so let me check that after changing this pd what will be the result so please wait for the result once i get the result definitely i'll make a video and i will show you people in case it it uh, not uh, i mean this things is not up and so then i will bypass this and that also i will show you okay thank you thank you very much